the moment, John Dernan, he's with Brynlaw. John, you've done it again, you're good at this, aren't you? We are, we are. I mean, we've got a tradition here, we've set the tone with the Masters and in the years we've done well in it. And as I say, we've never lost overseas in the Masters, we've won twice in Dubai and a couple of times in Canada and obviously it was, that was the incentive to win here tonight and the lads played brilliant, superb. You must be worth about 10 million quid in Masters terms, aren't you? Well, if I'm worth 10 million quid, this guy here is worth about 20. Fantastic, I think, uh, you know what I mean? They do all yard work, I just have to finish it. And, as I just say, we've done the graft today, we put the graft in and we got our just rewards. You got the record goals for, but you don't get man of the tournament, that goes to you Mike. You enjoyed your evening, didn't you? Yeah, we've had a great time over here in Asia. It's a long time coming now, we've been here four or five days. But we're looking forward to playing in the game and, as I say, it's difficult out there. We only had seven players, we usually have nine, but we won in the end, we really enjoyed it. Good final as well, wasn't it? The cracker final, yeah, Man United never started the tournament too clever, to be fair, but it finished like a train. But in the end we got there, he goes and scores his goals and then wins us the trophy. Well then lads, go and get your trophy. Cheers. And well deserved as well for those Liverpool players. So many goals scored here for the men in red from Merseyside. Ian Rush, as I mentioned, got his one in the end. He said he would score in the final. But great camaraderie between those two players, especially the two key men, if it's right to call them that tonight, and pick out individuals, Dernan and Mike Marsh, yeah. both roommates, both played yeah. a huge part. There was different in the team, team men for, for Liverpool. Um, you know, everybody played their part for the team, but them two were, were, were outstanding. And uh, as, you, as you can say, they, they played in, in many of these uh, tournaments. And you can see they're very good at it. And uh, you're exactly right. If it was in the market for Masters, it'd be worth a few quid, John. <laughs> Paul Jones played his part as well in the Liverpool goal. John Dernan just in front of him there with uh, 10 goals. As Brynlaw mentioned, a, a record Masters Hall. And here he comes to collect yet more Masters silverware for himself. But uh, a player who only played a few times for Liverpool, only played alongside Ian Rush just in the one game. But this kind of football... He's a talisman. Yeah, he's very good at it. And, uh, you know, you can, you can tell we, we practiced a little bit. And, you know, he's got the touch. He's, he's got the, uh, the awareness. And, and he, can, he knows where the goal is. And, you know, maybe uh, when he was a player in 11 aside game, he didn't make as many runs or something like that. But in this football, it suits him down to the ground. And he's, he's very good at it. And, and same with Mike Marsh. Mike Marsh is a different class as well tonight. And he, he deserves the, uh, the player of the tournament as well. Just there, saw particularly Paul Walsh try to walk forward to try and take the man at the tournament. He tried to take a couple of Mike Marsh's goals, of course. Oh, no, no, Marsh, no, no, no. fantastic tonight. Yeah, Marsh is different class, and uh, he's that sort of football. He was a very good player when he was uh, playing, and he was very simple, one and two touch passing. That's what you have to do in this, and and he was he was one of the best at it uh, for Liverpool. So you know they deserved it tonight. And, uh, you know I thought it was excellent. And, and please rush his goal as well in the final. So Mike Marsh, the player of the tournament here. He's the player of the tournament and Mersey Masters as well in the summer. So I might actually go and get my wooden spoon in a minute, can I? <laughs> <laughs> Yet more silverware for Liverpool. They're used to doing this not only in their professional days, but also now as Masters. This now the 11th Masters tournament they have won out of 18. They've lost only nine. 51 Masters football matches. Terrific well, record. That's, that tells you the whole story. You know? I think they're, they're very good together. They, play, they, they know each other's job. And uh, as you say, Mike Marsh and uh, John Gurney are veterans at this now, if you like. You know, we're just starting and uh, they've been brilliant. Well, he's a man who is used to lifting trophies, as you know, in the red shirt of Liverpool. And the man they love here in Malaysia. Raises a 2008 Malaysian Masters trophy high. It's Liverpool who reign here in Kuala Lumpur. Gary, thank you very much. Well, Peter Bigri, what do you make of it? Liverpool well, there on merit? Absolutely. We said before, we said about the squad and everything, are justifiable winners in a great tournament, nearly averaging seven goals a game. Absolutely fantastic. And then we said about them having people at the back who can score goals well. Phil, Phil Babb did that, Mike Marsh did that, man of the tournament, and then John Dernan, you know, you know, absolutely fantastic goal scorer, tremendous performance. 47 goals, as you rightly say, and all. Any standout for you? One particular? Well, there, there was two for me. There was Mike Marsh's one, composure, fantastic finish, didn't panic as all. It was all about poise and pre presence, and it was Dernan who, who actually set it up. There he go, could have thrashed that there, took his time, outside the right foot, and it was a fantastic finish, and really, really 
top top quality and then we had John Dern who had been cultured and he he guided everything in the corner of the net this time power pace cut across the ball set it off on the post just inside the post incredible incredible Peter thanks so much for joining us here for the Kuala Lumpur Masters the Malaysian Masters it really has been a triumph in Kuala Lumpur we have thoroughly enjoyed it we've had goals 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 and Liverpool have got the trophy and they've got the glory and they very definitely I've got the love. Sometimes I feel like throw my hands up in the air. I know I can count on you.